And here we have ourselves a, another pick set. Not the traditional pick set, but have a look. It says mini hook and pick set. Four pieces. And what does that say? Not to be sold to persons underage. And you've got to wear skiing goggles or something. I know, it's actually eye protection. I'm just acting dumb, all right? Relax. And then just some stupid stock number or something. And what does it say? Designed to ease the removal of O-rings, cotter pins, seals and brushes on various automotive and engineering applications. Chrome Vandium blades. Correct correctly hardened and tempered, comfortable square grip impact resistant handles. Always wear safety glasses when using any part of this set. Not to be sold under yeah, yeah, we know that already. And it's made by Draper. Draper make uh, hardware and they also make padlocks. I think I've picked one of theirs as well. One of their padlocks was a cheaper one. But uh, yeah, this hook here is the one that I was most interested in. This, this, these other hooks here might come in handy for hooking out springs and stuff, but this looks like it could work a bit like a traveler hook for bypassing um, spring-loaded door latches. That one. So that's why I got that. I also have an air wedge, so I learned that you can put you can help widen a gap in the door if you're going to try and uh, bypass a spring-loaded latch or what have you. You can use an air wedge to make the gap beneath or to the side or on top or whatever. You could uh, use a wedge to make it bigger, the gap bigger. So I'm just going to get a pair of scissors here. Um, let me get the pair of scissors out of here. Oh, yeah. yeah, there's my air wedge. I actually saw there was an air wedge there. That is a set of air wedges for sale in a shop the other day. But uh, no point in buying them. I don't really use them that much. But an air wedge is apparently, according to the, uh, I forget his name now, but there's a YouTube channel where he's um, showing similar door entry techniques like um, Deviant Olam has shown but yeah a lot of interesting stuff and he shows you how to make a under the door tool as well which is really cool I'm probably going to do that myself in the future and yeah I'm going to keep making some uh, homemade bump keys and that is a video that I will make in the future where I make my own homemade bump keys and my whole video will be me making a bump key from a used key from start to finish and I don't care who likes it or who doesn't like it it's for the Luxpore community who do not want to spend a load of money on a set of you know bump keys when you only want to mess around with them for a little bit and it costs you very pretty much nothing if you've got a pair of if you've got your Glock Sport Vice and spare key lying around and so on. No point in spending, in my opinion, spending a load of money on bump keys if you're not serious about bumping locks and you're not a locksmith. So, oh, big scary knife there. Yeah, let's just use scary knife to cut this stupid packaging and of course children this video is not for children but some people a few people some who might watch this who are adults might not know how to uh, cut it with a knife cut away from yourself so you don't cut yourself. Okay. 
couldn't find my scissors, so I just decided, oh well, use the old knife. Now oh, there's the that's the main one. And we've got a couple others here. Uh, just dump them out. Bloody awkward thing. Although I'm kind of an awkward person too. Yeah, these handles feel quite nice. It's very lightweight. This one uh, got like a little grippy thing there on the whatever you call it, stem or whatever. Got their knit brand on it, but uh, yeah, it's a pokey tool. So you could poke uh, little pins or test uh, lock designs and stuff with that. And then here's the what you call it. Um, traveler hook. You could use this as a tra traveler hook. And hook that into where the, the spring loaded locking lug is. And then push it out the way. I'm going to have to revisit one of those videos to see how you do that properly. And practice it. And not sure what this hook could be used for yet, but. Uh, I don't know, maybe some kind of pulling. Maybe you could use it similar to this guy. And he could be more for pulling. But he might work similar to that one, who knows. And then you've got another one here. This one seems to be more useful for hooking onto pins inside of um, lock chambers, stubborn pins. But anyway, there you go. To put them to the test. Stupid camera. Uh, I really need to get the bloody lighting right or wear gloves on my hands or something because they're very, uh, very white. So, anyway, there you go. Those are those four little hooks. We'll see how I can use them in the future. But uh, yeah, that's the main one. The rest are a bonus. So, there we go. Stupid hook. Stupid light, I mean. Very annoying when you're trying to make a video and you have this camera losing focus because of your hand. Right. Anyway, yeah, that's enough of that. So I'll see you in the next one. Sorry about the stupid camera.